a villa to find a Taoism master. Several villas are hidden in lush green forests, rice paddies along the shore growing wantonly, and the sound of streams flowing, paddles, frogs, and cicadas is played, with the mixed sound of paddle, creek, frog, and cicada performs a melodic and tuneful song. An old house with a portrait of the deceased. Outside the courtyard, there are green bamboos, and the courtyard is densely planted with trees. A green ivy shelf in the front is facing an old house. In the house is a portrait of the deceased wearing a red robe and an official hat. Taking a close look, it is Wu Quan, the head of the Wu family. A dilapidated house. An ancient wall separates the courtyard from the outside. The courtyard and study are surrounded by green trees, ancient books, furniture, old instruments displaying in the study, where Wu Xuan is sitting and looking at the teapot in a calm manner. A pavilion to rest after farm work. Separated by a gate and fence from outside, the courtyard is full of striving trees in it. Returning plowing the fields, the house owner hanging his straw hat and raincoat gently putting down his bow rake and hoe, lying quietly in his room as he enters a sweet dreamland with the scrolls. Zhila Kiosk In the shade of a leafy mangrove, a pavilion protrudes from the surface of the water. In the pavilion is a man leaning over to watch fish swimming. The withered willow on the shore replicates the man's stance as if they are all attracted by the swimming fish in the water. In the distance, the water and the sky are the same color, and the heaven and the earth merge, bringing the graceful silence of nature to life. 21 paintings with their own styles are masterpieces of blue and green landscape. Shenzhou offers an immersive look of pastoral life, an ideal image of idyllic life with perfect details on the joy of farming and reading. In Dongzhuang Gardens, Shenzhou heartily brings out his innate talent to the full and exhibit a work of nature and passion.